We also confirmed that the poll was commissioned by the Lou and Josh campaign and was conducted between August 4th through the 8th. Respondents were asked, if the Democratic primary were held today, which of the following two candidates would they likely vote for? According to the poll, 52% indicated they would vote for Lou and Josh, 36% said they favored Mike and Bree, and 12% said they didn't know or refused to respond. There were a total of 369 respondents, and the margin of error for the sample size is plus or minus 5%. The anthology group said it conducted a mixed-mode survey of online, mobile, and telephone, and each respondent was screened to ensure they were registered voters, had voted in the last two elections, and were likely to vote Democrat. The poll also showed what the results would be if there was a low turnout. Using a base of 101 respondents, it showed Lou and Josh with 59 percent to Mike and Bree's 34 percent. Undecided were at 7 percent. Lou and Josh campaign manager Rory Ruspicio. But, you know, as the governor, Lou and Lieutenant Governor always says that these polls are a capture of, of a certain time period. Uh, so we're heartened by it. The polls uh, reflect the kind of momentum and energy that we've been uh, experiencing. We had a rally uh, yesterday. It was a uh, follow uh, rally, and then we had an island-wide uh, motorcade. We registered well over a thousand vehicles, uh, and so the polling uh, that was released by Anthology uh, it really affirms uh, what we're seeing and what we're experiencing, and what we hope that the voters will see and experience as well. Congressman Nicholas also reacted to the poll and sent us this statement: "Quote: In every election we have been in, we were always polled to lose." The voters proved otherwise, and with that, we encourage everyone to come out and vote in this election once again. The primary election is less than two weeks away, on Saturday, August 27th. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor LeConto.